PCW fam, it's Pastors Ann and Gray coming at you with an update about what's going on here at the church. We want to start with this Sunday, October 29th. Uh, we are kicking off our new stewardship series, Legacy, Preparing for a Future Not Our Own. Uh, you should be getting your letters in the mail this last week. We encourage you to read that letter uh, and be in prayer. Uh, for the legacy that you want to leave here at the church. We're going to kick off this series with a story about Moses and Joshua and Moses turning over leadership of the Hebrews uh, to Joshua. And we're going to talk all about that, what it means for Moses to do that, uh, and what kind of legacy he is leaving for Joshua. So that's this Sunday, and What's going on uh, the following Sunday, November 5th? Yeah, so November 5th, um, we're going to continue our legacy series. We're going to look at the faith of our ancestors, which is a great tie-in. It's also when we're going to remember the saints in our lives. Um, but we also are going to be giving our third through sixth graders Bibles. So normally we would give them um, kind of in that second, third year grade uh, range, but because of COVID, we haven't been giving them out, so we want to catch our kids up. So we're going to be giving Bibles out to third through sixth graders this November 5th. If you haven't connected with Lisa, please send yep. her an email if you've got a kiddo just to make sure we're not missing anybody. We are planning to have just a couple extra Bibles to make sure that if you show up with a kid that age, that they will get a Bible. And then we're inviting our Families um, with children, and those can be children of any age, really, any age, younger, older, yeah. in between, um, to stay after worship. Lisa's going to um, tell them, uh, give them some information about the Bible. Um, and so the kids who have new Bibles will obviously um, get some good tools for that. But for all of our kids, kind of an intro to what is the Bible. And we're hoping to gather our parents of children. And again, this can be, you know, any age. If you've got a middle school or a high school or a preschool or trying to get those um, parents together so we can talk a little bit about um, just scripture. How does that um become a tool for us as we talk to our kids about faith and also just have some fellowship time amongst the parents. So we hope that you'll come join us on November 5th. Yeah, and then the following week, we got another great event coming up here at the church from the ECC committee. And you yeah, talk about dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. So there's going to be a simple supper that's going to start at five. It is helpful if you RSVP. How do people RSVP? You right? can RSVP in the e-news. We have the link there. It's a Google form. Just click on that button down at the e-news and you can sign up for that, how many people are coming. Yeah, so we want to know so that we can make sure we have the right amount of food. And then the movie will start at 520 it looks to be a really great um, resource for us considering the environment and how we can care for the environment. Yes. Um, do you know the name of the film? The name of the movie is called The Letter. And it's all about how we can be better stewards of our environment. So we encourage you to come and see that movie. Yeah, And we've got opportunities then also for all ages. So yes. it's they kind of recommend, I think, 6th or 7th grade or seventh and up. Grade up. So our youth are going to be participating in that. But Lisa is also going to have a activity for our younger um, children. So if you are a parent who wants to come and you've got a kid who is um, not maybe old enough for the movie, she's going to have an earth care activity yep. for our younger folks and um, some care for those little itty bitty ones. Um, <laughs> so again, if you can let us know, that helps us be well prepared for your arrival. Um, but we are planning some wraparound activities so that um, people of all ages can come together that evening. Wonderful. I really thank the Earth Care Committee for getting that together. Uh, and then finally, uh, it is time for our Thanksgiving basket project, our annual Thanksgiving basket project that we do with uh, several of our ecumenical partners here in Wyoming and beyond. Uh, and we are going to be doing our baskets this year on November 19th. So you'll see in the E! News link, you'll be able to donate uh, money towards a, a basket. One basket, normally we range around $50. So if you want to donate either $50 or even less than that, whatever, all donations are helpful towards this cause. And then also you can volunteer on November 19th to either uh, help set up, deliver, or clean up. You also, you'll also you see that Sign Up Genius in the e-news as well. This is a wonderful mission that we've been doing for, I don't know, like 12 years, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible to see how 
Uh, we've really just gotten it down to a science. We're going to be doing over 300 baskets. Uh, so we encourage you to give and volunteer a part of this ecumenical effort uh, around this area to help our neighbors in need. Well, I think that wraps about wraps it up. Uh, we will see you all on Sunday to kick off our legacy series. God bless you all. and We'll see you then. Bye.